this demonstration, you'll learn about some of the great new features in ANSYS Fluent 2019R1. To begin with, you'll notice the updated color scheme that we've adopted, as well as the slight name change to the ribbon tabs, which more closely matches the corresponding branches in the outline view tree. Additionally, we have new icons for most of the ribbon controls. You'll also see that we have this new start page, which contains options for getting started with a mesh or case, or files you've used recently. It also provides access to training materials, documentation, and videos. An exciting and powerful new feature in this release is the introduction of expressions, which is similar to the expression language available in ANSYS CFX. The expression language is an interpreted declarative language based on Python. It enables you to specify complex boundary conditions with respect to time, iteration number, position, and solution variables. For example, I can specify this inlet using an expression for a parabolic inlet velocity that I've already created. You'll see that as soon as I start typing it, Fluent proposes the name of Velocity Profile, which is the one I've defined. Here's a look at it. I'm also opening U Profile, which is the same as Velocity Profile, except that it references other named expressions to accomplish the same result. I have another separate Fluent session open that has the same geometry and boundary names, but with a different mesh. I want to bring some of the boundary condition settings that I have in this older case into this new session. Because I have both sessions running on my machine, I can simply highlight the relevant boundaries in my case on the left and drag and drop them onto the boundary conditions branch in the new session. If I'm in a situation where I can't have both sessions open at once, I can just right click the selected boundaries and save the settings to a file. Then there's a corresponding import option that I'll use in the other session. Additionally, you can perform drag and drop operations within the same session like if you want to copy the settings from one inlet to another. The same technique is available for graphics objects, surfaces, report definitions, and so on. Speaking of surfaces, they're now editable, just like graphics objects. For example, let's take this surface. You can see what it looks like now, but I want to move it over a bit. So I'll just edit it, change the properties, and you'll see it now has these updated settings. I'm almost ready to begin running my simulation but there's another new functionality I'd like to show you, and it's for transient simulations. You can now specify flow time for your plotting and reporting intervals. Opening the report file dialog box, I can select flow time from the dropdown. The same goes for my corresponding report plot. I'm just going to initialize through the console so I can show you another cool feature, the autocompleter. It's disabled by default, but you can turn it on here in Preferences. As I start typing, you'll see how Fluent prompts me by showing all the relevant options. Now I'll start Fluent calculating, so you can see the progress bar we've added. It provides you the option of stopping at the end of the iteration or time step. These are just some of the improvements made to ANSYS Fluent for this release. Refer to the ANSYS release notes for the full list. Thanks for watching.